Hi, I'm Saptarsh Mukherjee from Indian Institute of Technology, Bhilai. In this work, I'm accompanied by one of my professors, Dr. Subhajit Siddhant. So let's begin. We all know about edge computing. And in today's world, where applications with real-time performance requirements are gaining popularity, the use of the edge computing paradigm is becoming absolutely indispensable. Now, most of these applications involve a dynamic nature of requests. Hence, an optimum decision-making paradigm of cluster modification is necessary to ensure that the edge cluster can always adapt to the changing environment and fulfill the needs of SLO deadlines while also optimizing the cluster cost. This session shall yield insights about an adaptive auto-scaling algorithm that has been designed specifically in view of the edge environment. At the onset, a distinguishing feature of edge computing applications is the nature of devices. The devices are not as robust as the servers in cloud computing infrastructures. These may require charging and maintenance and may often indulge in situations of network failure. Keeping in mind that this failure rate is again variable across situations, our autoscaler needs to bear a basic intelligence of interpreting the degree of failure and ensure that its negative impact on the performance is avoided or minimized. And with such a vision, we introduce MS, Antman Autoscaler, an adaptive elastic autoscaler that shall automatically scale the cluster in and out to optimally address the workloads. This is the system model that we have considered. The cluster monitor and the application monitor give all essential information about the number of requests being successfully responded to and the average resource utilization of the available devices. Based on this information, MS determines the deviation from the optimal requirement and takes the necessary steps of modification. Apart from the basic parameters of request rate and cluster state, MS uses these as the vital parameters. Using the first two, T rise and T fall, MS keeps track of the time elapsed after an alarm has been triggered to scale the cluster. The next two, W rise and W fall, specify the limits till which MS shall wait before performing the scaling. The next two, S out and S in, depict that if there is an excess or deficit of X devices in the cluster, what fraction or multiple of X devices shall be added or removed once the time limit is reached. The last parameter, R extra, denotes the number of redundant or extra devices that the cluster shall accommodate as a safety measure. As an important property, MS adopts continuous adaptation of parameters. MS ensures that these parameters, which largely influence the autoscaling decisions, are regularly updated with changes in workload pattern. And with this adaptation, it distinguishes itself from the existing state-of-the-art autoscalers. We will now see how this algorithm works. This is the code snippet for scaling out. As a primary step, we introduce the adaptive parameter R extra in our metric of optimal requirement. With this, we convey that the threshold of optimality shall change with changing nature of the environment. Then we use this adaptive threshold to check how far the current cluster size is from the optimal limit. Here we update the parameters of time elapsed and when the elapsed duration crosses the threshold, we perform the scaling out operation. While scaling out, we make use of the scaling out factor to decide how many devices shall be scaled out in this iteration. As observable in the last condition check, if the current cluster size is even lower than the minimum requirement, then the algorithm shall not wait for the temporal threshold, rather it will address the change immediately. This ensures that the waiting nature won't hinder the performance at the time of urgency. This snippet shows a similar paradigm for scaling in. The parameters of time elapsed and waiting limit indicate when the scaling operation shall be performed. And using the scaling in factor, the exact measure of cluster change to be conducted is decided. This is the crucial part of the algorithm where the parameters are updated. If in the duration of the last 10 time intervals, some requests have been delayed or the CPU utilization has crossed some threshold, then the parameters are modified in a manner that the propensity of the algorithm towards scaling out is enhanced. The alarm for scaling out shall be triggered faster, the waiting limit for scaling out shall be reduced, and the factor for scaling out shall be increased. This is where the reverse operation is conducted to enable the algorithm to increase the propensity of scaling in and decrease the propensity of scaling out. This is done if the CPU utilization values always fall below a certain threshold and we infer that we are currently over provisioning with the existing parameters. That's about MS. 
an adaptive auto scaling algorithm that can very quickly identify any change in the workload pattern and immediately modify its parameters to reach the best performance. There are some other key aspects of this algorithm. It has an inertial policy as it always prefers to wait for confirmation about the nature of workload before making a change in cluster composition. This is implemented using the parameter of wait limit and it ensures that certain arbitrary fluctuations in the request rate won't readily induce fluctuations in the cluster. This is essential as the devices at the edge won't be robust enough to endure the fluctuations in scaling operations. Using Greengrass edge experiments, we primarily obtained some real world values and using them we performed comparative simulations on the algorithms DM, KHPA, Fresh1 and MS. These are the results that we obtain. This table shows the values of cluster size obtained for the various workloads and algorithms. Measurements have been made in two categories, low failure situation and failure prone situation. It can be observed that MS is the only algorithm that has the tendency to provision more devices on average in the failure prone situation. For example, let's observe the two columns, sinusoidal workload in low failure situation and sinusoidal workload in failure prone scenario. So MS shows a higher value 54.81 in the failure prone situation, while in case of all the other algorithms, we see that a lower value is shown in the failure prone situation. This table shows the average CPU utilization values for the different scenarios. MS is the only algorithm that always maintains the average CPU utilization in the optimal range of 70 to 85 percent. The high utilization values of Thresh 1 attribute to its strict and non-adaptive inertial policy. Another interesting observation is that MS is the only algorithm that depicts comparable values of CPU utilization for both failure, low failure and high failure scenario. From this table, we infer that MS performs better than other algorithms in many of the scenarios and comparable in the others in terms of the number of requests delayed. This confirms that despite the feature of inertial policy, MS has done reasonably good in terms of the SLO deadlines. Hence, we confirm that MS, which has been designed keeping the characteristics of the edge environment in mind, shall decently serve all the different aspects of performance. As the crucial future steps, we intend to mathematically evaluate the performance of MS that supports its overall applicability in the edge environment. From this work, we are also optimistic that the insights obtained shall help us in bringing newer auto scaling policies of better performance that shall serve the applications better. That's it from our side for the time being. These are our contact details. We would love to hear from you about your ideas and comments. Thank you.